Jordan, it's a massive game for the Bradford Bulls on Sunday, working to town the visitors. It's the Betfred League one playoff final. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you know, we've talked about it's what you play rugby for to play in playoff finals and and want to go up. So yeah, we're all really looking forward to it. You know, it's a massive game. It's a massive game for the club and. You know, hopefully we can do the club justice and, and get them back to the championship and, and keep progressing up that ladder. How important is it going into this game on, on Sunday off the back of such a, a great result against Oldham? Yeah, I think it's one of the best performances we've put on all season. It was more or less an 80 minute performance. We didn't really put a foot wrong in many places and, you know, everyone 1-17 to were really good. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's good going off the back of this, but... You know, we, we, we've got to follow that up this week now and, and, uh, and go do the job this weekend. So, yeah, really pleased with last weekend and, you know, we, we're coming in today for training and, and everyone's buzzing around the place and really excited um, for this week. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes and, you know, hopefully we can have a good week's training, go into this week, have a good prep and, and do the job. What do we know about Workington Town? We certainly know that it's going to be a tough, physical, uncompromising. They've got some big forwards that are going to hit hard at you. Yeah, they've got some experience in there. They've got they've got some experienced players that have that have been around the block and and played a bit at, at different levels and in Super League and that. And you know the biggest ones are Fufu and Moimo plays for plays for him and, and he makes a big impact when he's there. And you know there's some players to contain there. Penkovic at dummy half who, who played really well last time we played him. Um, they've got they've got strength all over the park and you know it's going to be an exciting game for the neutrals to watch and um, you know it's going to be an exciting game to be involved in and. Hopefully we can have a, a packed Oddsall, big, hopefully we can get the biggest crowd at year to Oddsall to support us and you know, hopefully we'll get the job done and, and we can have a good celebration with all the fans and sponsors and you know, and it, it, it top off a good year really. These are the games that you want to play in Jordan, these are the games that you want to get the, the shirt off of John Keir in. Yeah definitely, you know, the, the goal was to go up automatically and, and, and do the job there but you know, we slipped up a few times this year which happens in rugby and and you, we've got to do it the tough way, but you know the um, the feeling if we do do it that way, the, the hard way of going through the playoffs and you know playing the tough teams, playing the good side, Oldham last week, and you know it just shows the, the character we've got in the team to to beat them. The with 47 nil the scoreline. Um, so so yeah, so it, it's a massive game this weekend, and you know we're we're more focused on us rather than working in town and people will look and say you haven't beaten this year and that but we don't look too much into it it's player football now and you know you just got to be good on your day um, so hopefully we can be good on the day and do the job you mentioned Oddsell home advantage and the fans how can they play the part on Sunday just by getting behind us and supporters we've done it all year and you know when I were here last year it was magnificent we'd go some places and there'd be more Bradford fans than there were um, home supporters so yeah, they, they can they can really uh, get behind us this week and create a real buzz at Oddsall and you know I don't know what the what for the York game here but hopefully we can surpass that and get a really good atmosphere and, and really really make it a, a tough place to come for uh, working in this week. For you on a personal level, Jordan, what would actually beating Workington on Sunday mean and getting the Bradford Bulls back up into the championship? Um, well, it's just a taste of playing them final games and playing them pressure games and. You know, seeing how I deal, I deal under that pressure of, of, of final games. Uh, you know, I've been at Leeds and played in the World Cup Challenge and that under that sort of pressure. So, you know, hopefully I can bring what I um, what I, what I uh, experienced in that game to this game and, and bring a bit of um, just just a bit of control to the team and and, and lead us around the park. So, you know, I, I'm just really looking forward to it. I'm really excited. And after we won at the weekend, we had a real buzz around the place, and there's still a buzz and. You know, hopefully we can carry that on this week, and I keep saying it, but we we just we're just looking to to be good as a team and and get the job done. And how do you feel that your role's developed here under John Keir in the past few weeks? You know, you we've tried the Chisholm, Keys, Jordan in the halves. You've now been playing predominantly at nine. Yeah, I just play wherever I'm told. Really, I, I'm not. I just want to play. My biggest thing for when I come to Bradford was well, because I just wanted to play rugby and I wanted to start enjoying my rugby, and that's what I started doing. I'm. I'm loving training, I'm loving playing and yeah, I'm, nine's not my preferred role, I'd prefer to be an half back but you know, you sometimes you've just got to you just gotta do it for the team and you know that's what I try and do. I'm not the biggest fella, a lot of teams come at me and I'm sure working and if I'm in the middle this week he'll come at me again. But you know, I'll put my body in the way, I'll put my body on the line for the team and I'll I'll do everything I can this week to make sure that we, we get that win. Uh, but yeah, I think my game's developed massively under John. He's, he's the biggest part was to get the confidence back and he's got that back in me. 
Um, and I look forward to coming training every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday and I look forward to playing on a weekend, you know, the, the lads are great, they've made me feel real welcome and you know, I've got some real good pals here now that we, uh, we socialise together, we go do this together and you know, we play Fortnite together as well, so yeah, we've got a good group, John's a really good coach and hopefully we can do him justice this week and uh, get that win for him.